In this video, we're going to look at how to uh, concatenate using uh, leading zeros. So concatenate combines data from multiple cells into one. To give you an example, if we take um, A and B here, which is 10 and 20, and we say concatenate, if we type in A1 and B1, close the parentheses, it gives us the number 1020. And concatenate can essentially be used for any type of data to combine it except for one, and that's in data using leading zeros. Uh, it, it simply doesn't work. If I come down here to concatenate this, and I say A3, B3, you'll notice it gives me 102 instead of 1002 when I have that leading zero in there. Now to actually put leading zeros in here, what I need to do is go over here to number and then I'll choose custom and you'll notice under custom type for me is two zeros. I can make this three or four and you'll notice it adds the zeros in. So right away Excel itself eliminates leading zeros, so in order to get them to show up, you have to change the the format here for your numbers to custom and then add the zeros yourself. So I have 10 and I have 0, 2, but you'll notice, like I said, when I concatenated this, my zeros disappear, so I lose one of my zeros. So in order to make the leading zero up here, we have to use a special formula, which you'll notice I have over here. So now if we go in and we say equals, we're going to say A3 and, then we're going to do parentheses, text, and then parentheses. So then we'll choose B3, and then how many zeros, which in this case is two. Close those two parentheses and hit enter, and now you'll notice we have the number. So in order to get leading zeros concatenated, you can't use the formula concatenate. You have to use this formula here. So A3 and text B3 and then this. If we wanted to have zeros in front, if we were to say 0, 2, and 10, we'd have to go number, custom. So now we have our number. And then once again, we would have to do our formula. But this time we would have to put this in front, so we would have to say, let's see if we can do this. So we're going to say equals, text, and we'll say A4, and then we'll say and B4. So there we go. So if we want to go the other direction, we simply flip our formula from here to here. Now we're saying text A4, however many zeros we're using, and then we're going to add B4 to it, and that gives us our 0210. And like I said, if we were to regularly just concatenate this, and we say A4, B4, and then we only get 210. It loops, drops our zero. So in order to concatenate using z leading zeros, you can't use the formula concatenate. Instead, you have to use this formula here.